All right, folks, we are all loaded up. We've had an adventurous morning. Um, the back glass fell out of my cab. Um, you see my truck on the right down there next to Brian. So um, didn't matter. We're loading up in Kevin's anyway. So it's just confirmation we had the right call. My stuff's getting old, folks. Six Yukons on the trailer. Five folks inside. One of these boats is Adam's boat. Adam Davis, he's joining us. Joining the longboat crew. We're heading up to Jefferson area of North Carolina. We are. I forget, I forget Look at the crew, folks. I got yeah. Little Man, Greg, Brian, of course, yeah. the drone operator, and myself. The other guy. Um, chauffeur. Sheets, please. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a... <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a fun trip folks off to do a little leg work on the logistics side kind of polish up some of the finer details of the trip and right now it looks like we have 22 I had another cancellation this morning uh, we'll be missing you Matt and uh, Dan and Woody and uh, the others that couldn't come so but yeah 22 23 if dirt dauber can make it he may have to may have something else he's obligated to do at the takeout, Kings Creek access right across the road there. This used to be the uh, River Raft something USA, I forget. But it's now River Country Campground and RV Park. Pretty cool. We were checking on the possibility of having shuttles run for us. And the parking lot at Kings Creek looks fantastic. We are capable of doing it ourselves, but it would be super easy if we can get the livery to do it so now I'm gonna walk across the river here there's a big uh, livery on the river left and looks like they'll probably run a shuttle so I'm gonna inquire about their shuttle running opportunities and if they have any if they're closed down for the season uh, that might make things even even more simple and easy so it's Riverside canoe and they got a bunch of shuttle vehicles so this looks promising all right folks here at riverside canoe with the star of the show kelly uh they do offer shuttles they they can handle just about anything you need but look at all these trailers and canoes and they rent canoes they rent kayaks rafts tubes everything so if you're in the area you need to make a trip happen it's right across the street from king's creek access there come by pay them a visit and uh, they'll take care of you Appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, gotta be honest with you folks. It's not much to look at, but it might be the restaurant we've been looking for all these years. Ant Mills Copper Mine Grill, world famous burgers, everybody. It's on the sign. Has to be true. Let's give it a shot. We have got our appetizer in Brian Hubbard's honor because it's a tradition for the Hubbards. We've gotten the fried pickles. Take one and tell me what, what you think. It's hot. <laughs> so we were, we were just talking. Greg's been to a Bigfoot festival in Marion, North Carolina. And then Brian asked Greg if he's ever been to Comic-Con and Greg said, Yes. Yes. And tell them what you dress up as. We like to the like Starfleet medical officer. And you know? what is Angie? She usually goes as uh, Velma. From Scooby Doo? Scooby Doo. You're not a red shirt though, right? Red shirt guy never. Things you don't know till you go kayaking with somebody. Here at the Cover Mine and we've just got dinner. Catfish pull boy. Pulled pork. Salisbury steak with um, side vegetables. That's braised, very healthy greens. looking. Very impressive. I got the burger. Kind of plain tonight. Because I got into some uh, some bad Taco Bell last night. So I'm kind of running a little scared. So we're doing a little domestic burger here. Hopefully this will work out because I got all the people coming for the camp tomorrow. And we do need to make some miles. It would be a little awkward. And we have the world's best waitress, Jada. Thank you. <laughs> taking care of us over here. Copper Mine Grill. Check it out. I forgot to film it. It's too good. I gave it to Pete to try. And he kept it and started eating it, but I wrestled it back. This is definitely a world famous hamburger. One of the best ones I've ever had anywhere. And it's just plain, but the bun, the burger, really good. And whatever happens tomorrow because of this burger, it will have been worth it. Mm, that's good.
Ant Mills Copper Mine, 10 out of 10, I highly recommend. Give it a try, that was some good, good eating. All, everything that came out was good, but the hamburger was absolutely amazing. Whew, all right. It's thundering, the temperature's dropping, the front's moving in, looking a little ominous, I can hear the thunder. I think we're about to get wet, but let's head towards camp. Morning of the expedition, and uh, we're here at the 221 campus of the New River State Park. Never seen Adam this early in the morning. How you doing? How was the truck? Not too bad. We uh, end up pitching the hammocks here because uh, we didn't want to sleep in the truck after all because sleeping in the truck is miserable. So uh, me, Brian, Greg, and P5 who's already back in the truck hanging out. We slept like kings in a hammock. Brian's got about two minutes before the park ranger drives in here and busting for having a tarp in the picnic area. So I'll let him get back to work. Calling right now and waking up. What a pretty sunrise. I think it's gonna be a good day. There's supposed to be maybe hit or miss showers in the morning, but a good afternoon is the latest we heard. As there was a meteorologist in the camp last night over at the New River State Park, and that was his forecast from his laptop within the camp. Yep. So, I hope you're right. There's a lot of ways to measure a man, but clearly there's no better definition of who you are as a man than how you back your trailer by the river with the boats on the back. And uh, here it is for millions to see. And Kevin's doing pretty good. I, I gotta give it to him. All right, so we're here at Sheath Bridge. Got the boats offloaded. Uh, about to start putting all the gear in the boats. We got Eric O. I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name 100%, so I'll just call him Eric O. But uh, <laughs> Alan Figures has mapped out and laminated the trip for emergency road access, look, look the campsite, that's, and then the general logo. That's what I'm talking about. You know it. River King grade, folks. Southern Paddler, everybody. Woo! Woo, Chris, <laughs> yep, good, good to see you, man. Hey, man, you too. Representing Got a lot North. of folks out, out here Alabama. passing out t-shirts and goodies and uh, about to figure out who, um, who made it and who didn't. All right, so we've all been hanging out for a little bit. I believe our shuttle driver is right behind me to go pick up the group and uh, run us up the river. So yeah, looking forward to it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Water's up a little bit. We had pretty good rain last night and it shows um, definitely have more water, so that's a good thing. People loading up, everything's looking good. Almost go time. All right, so we are in the shuttle with the world's best shuttle driver, Becky, and uh, she's a pro, folks. Pretty good crowd. The other half is in the van ahead of us. We were discussing convoy security and how the VIPs are never in the first vehicle. Um, so yeah, if you're in the front van, I guess you know where you stand. <laughs> <laughs> Our meteorologist in camp was promising a beautiful afternoon. Becky, however, has not heard the same thing. Um, very ominous look on her face when we missed what we had heard. Uh, it looks like maybe rain all day. So that'll be fun too. Just fun later. All right, so we got the last snacks up here at the store. Here at Sheets Bridge Access. They're getting all the gear off the trucks. Everything looks good to go. Just found out that they've issued a flash flood watch for the area till later on tonight. Hopefully, that doesn't come into play, but uh, we only got about six miles to go from here, so I think, I think we're going to be good today, and uh, hopefully that, that danger will pass overnight. We'll have good sailing again tomorrow, so. Crew's looking ready, time to shove off, and down the river we go. Like a uh, two gallons? So we are on the river now, heading downstream. We got 6.6 .6 miles or so down to the Riverbend campsite. And uh, that's where we're headed today. We were embarking on the inaugural River Kings members trip. And it promised to be a good one. 19 on the water. 
I'm gonna say 18. I always count one number less. It's easier to have the right number at the end. <laughs> we sent out the trip invitation to all the members and not knowing how many and who would come, I needed a river that would be both fun and safe for a large group. I needed a campsite that could house up to 40 or 50 people, but still be beautiful and off the beaten path. And I wanted to see mountains. And while there's a lot of rivers out there, the South Fork of the New River checked all the boxes. The weather forecast wasn't very promising, but I always grew up with the saying that there was no bad weather, just ill-prepared outdoorsmen. With that in the back of our minds, we began the trip, hoping the sunshine would last, but prepared if it didn't. We were looking forward to meeting and boating with all the friends we chat with on Sunday nights but I was really looking forward to paddling with Greg and Brian again. Life has a way of going in cycles, and sometimes it's easy to get out of rhythm. Being back on the water with some of the OGs was just what the doctor ordered. And there's Brian stuck on a rock, knocking off two years of rust, with a smile on his face. We have our first Gucci's. It was also a nice surprise that P5 wanted to come on his own volition. Anytime I get to paddle with my son, it's a good day. But it made me proud to see the maturity level rise to a point where he can enjoy a little more boring water with a big crowd. I think he's got the kayak camping bug. We've got plans to do some more of that together in the coming days. We started the trip with a pretty slow pace, mostly floating and talking. Folks finally getting to meet each other, telling stories and laughing. And so far, the weather was working out pretty good. And that's how we started our journey down the South Fork of the New River. It was raining, and then it was sunny. Who knows what it would be later? For now, it was perfect. In the current, yeah. It does not do well when you need to get across the current. Well, by asking, what do you do with that? Well, there it is. Okay. Yeah. And you're from where again? Uh, Chapel Hill. Who am I? From okay. North Carolina. Okay.
Hey, Kevin, go far right, then angle left through the rapid. Now come straight to me. There it is. <laughs> that way looks shoulders. <laughs> People everywhere. Get some, Adam. King of the wave. There's a sticker in here somewhere. Let's go make that happen.
no-name wave somewhere here on the river. My son Pete, probably two miles down, asleep. Uh, beautiful day. It was supposed to rain all day according to the official forecast. But our, our guy in camp may just be spot on. It's been uh, super sunny since right about the time we got on the river. About, about noon, it kind of just sun came out. It's actually hot. I should probably take my paddling jacket off. But as soon as I do that, the clouds will blow back over and get cold. But I think I'll take the paddling jacket off. I'm pretty hot. Y'all ever watch YouTube? Oh yeah. You watch those River King guys? Yeah. Is that you guys? Yeah. Woo! Hey! Oh, hey. <laughs> What's your name? Flowers. You're famous. All right, folks. I have got the cutest girl on the whole river, and she needs a couple stickers. Ow! Yeah, you down? Skylar, he's trying to catch oh, you. Right. To you. See? What's your name? Tell the world who you are. Skylar? Yeah. Awesome. You having fun out here with the family? Yep. Thank you. Right on. Have fun. Thank, Thank you, buddy. Y'all have a good time. Thank you. You can't beat the people you meet on the river.
Yeah, Kelly. Good thing you have the katana! <laughs> <laughs> That's a great line, Steve. Yep, You just tell us that your rudder doesn't pull. Okay, get in that wake. Pardon me? Gotta get in that wake. Hey, that's the one. So we pulled, we pulled out here last time. I don't know if there's a better pull out, but. It's definitely better down there. Whew, I've been dragging that boat. I'm getting old. But we're here at the campsite, kind of scouting see what the best plan of action is going to be most people are getting out down there looks like another takeout down here so it's all nice so i'm down here at the actual big bend in the river and i'm looking for the other sites there's supposed to be four campsites and i've rented all of them for the group but i've actually never explored down here to see where the others are and here we are at the other camp yeah so this is the other landing here the other spots are definitely better let's uh let's stick it up there how you doing rick right. drying off a bit no no <laughs> hey good good recovery self-rescue that's what i'm talking about dumped his own boat got back in all smiles we're all gonna swim it's all about how you recover um, we're here at the campsite uh, hammock trees for days it's just a matter of where do you want to put up so Every, oh awesome. you can't beat this no you can't, you can't beat it no, Woo -wee. all right so camp is pretty much set up uh try to get some shots through the rows i'm down here got these neanderthals with tents all over this area Hater. Uh, <laughs> Dan and uh, Chris and P5, then all the way back through there, hammock camping heaven. Uh, it's trying to rain on us. I think we're getting skirted by a storm. I think we're about to get wet, but I'm going to pretend like we're not in any case. Uh, but we're enjoying the bubble links from Blue Nest Beef that Jay, Escape with Jay, 
sent us uh um these things are awesome man what do you think boys delicious mm. they're so good they don't want you to get into them <laughs> cut <laughs> so the cutter had some issues with some of the wraps he told me that it was going to happen they fixed it but i think i got a little batch of the old wraps there, there he goes Woo! they make you work for it a little bit oh yeah but it's rewarding but um yeah bubble links blue nest beef is the company mm. you get them online there's a link in the description of the video um they're really good they're yeah. not too spicy so they're not going to mess up your gut while you're out here um all organic and all that good stuff the cows were happy mm. delicious one out of ten what would you rate it like an 8.5 8 maybe a nine they're really good yeah give it a ten i love it ten nine absolutely. nine Solid nine. That's good. Solid nine. That's, really good. That's hard to beat, folks. Give it a look. Mm. Oh, he's looking like a pro now. Looking warm and dry. Warm and dry. Feels good. Camp set up. Looking good. Yep. Yep. Anybody needs this your gear stuff? Back. And then that's your where you sleep back there? Yeah, back Fantastic. There. Rick's Just doing it right. In case oh, yeah. That's, that's rain, money. You know, Might be hanging out down here in a little bit. Yeah. Let me see. The back of that boat looks really good. You got outdoor supply. And what's that? That really awesome sticker. Here, all take in, a bubble ink. All in a day's work. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He did it like a champ. Strat is 14.5, folks. Um, good boat. That's a good boat. If you can't find a Yukon, or if you want something a little faster than a Yukon for a little bit different kind of water um, in the 14.5 category, that's, that's a winner right there. A little less maneuverable, but definitely faster. How you doing, Dean? Good, how are you? Good, need another uh I got more. If you're offering. Oh yeah. I won't say no. Thank you. Again, thanks, Jay. Keeping the crew running on the bubble links. I know Kevin likes them. Hit me. Good throw. Yep. Steve? Absolutely. <laughs> oh. I just wanted to see him get out of his chair. <laughs> Man, y'all's camp is looking good down here. Looks professional. Steve! No, that's not mine. That's, uh, that's Brian. Brian. Brian's, Brian spent some time getting that right. Yes, he did. Where is Brian? He's uh, taking he's pictures of everybody else is down there. Oh, probably making fun of them because they don't look as good as his. There's one tent set up I got to see. Let's go. Let's go. I took like the no room in the end spot up where I was. Um, I went to the OG spot. It's not the best. I should have come down here with the OG crowd. That's mine. Bonnie's. This is yours? Yeah. Next to all the Widowmakers, huh? Hey, somebody's got to live dangerously. You got to go, you got to go. I mean, <laughs> there's also that big one up on the hill up there. You know? He's getting he's getting all fancy with the tarp extender over top poles. And... All right, folks, here's Alan set up. Professional as always. Organized. Man, I'm living in the slums over here. Who we got over here? This is Kelly. Kelly. You in there, Kelly? Yeah. You good to go? I am. Kelly looks like she knows what she's doing. Wow. <laughs> but that's a shame. You got enough lights on that thing. Yeah, I mean, this is, man, this is what I'm talking about. Santa's coming to town. Looking good. <laughs> Very organized. I'm impressed. I'm going to have to step up my game next time. Oh, this is a beginner. Whose is this? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Steve got his looking good. Still with the toe stubber steaks, huh? Okay. Right, still. <laughs> he's see he stakes down that step out pad but you got like an inch or two of aluminum with corners sticking up this is gonna leave a memory on his toes from one of those hurried okay. moments in the night one day and then finally down here in the dungeon is carrie i don't know it's <laughs> first time in cam uh, hammock camping so. first time first. hammock camping here you go Oh, and make it a little better. Stick. Yeah, oh. so when you're cold wet later, you can at least have yeah, a good cool. beef stick. But, uh, <laughs> so, I'm guessing that you didn't quite think it was long enough, so you used the rain jacket. <laughs> well, it was soaked, so I said, well, shoot, I'll make me a little vestibule out here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, oh, oh, well, well, and it's already t I'm already tearing it down, so we'll see. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> if it lasts the night, you know. I'll send some links for some other tarps. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool deal. <laughs> Is that the UGQ winter, winter dream? Right? Oh, yeah, 13. That's the one. Greg has already had, he has already had dinner, coffee, and brushed his teeth. All right, folks. At four o'clock. Folks, 
if a tornado came through camp and tore Greg's camp apart and blew it into the woods, it would end up looking like he set it up here. What is this? I mean. This is uh, across the tracks, low rent <laughs> district. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is gonna be interesting. He's got a theory. I've got a theory. We're going to test it here. What is it? The water will run down and then drop in that corner and then run down the tree. Versus splattering on you? Versus billowing up, billowing, <laughs> you know, filling in. I think it'll run off. Oh, it's going to be good. Yeah. I may stand in the rain and film this. <laughs> You'll see the headlamp from over here. <laughs> Probably need to move your tent. <laughs> That could not be more soon. Um, <laughs> if we're lucky, it'll get both of you. <laughs> that I don't know if that's picking up, folks, but that is that's not what you want above your a spiky tent setup. <laughs> <laughs> it's only 40 feet of tree my, uh, with four foot stobs all over it. <laughs> 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 Well, with any luck, it's going to roll a little bit. I think if y'all just picked your stuff up and drug it to here, you'd be better off. P5 and I are here under my hammock eating some dinner. Uh, he is having beef stroganoff. Rate it one to 10 for camp food. Nine. Huh? Nine. Nine. Pretty good. Rate it one to 10 for day-to-day -day life food. Seven. Seven, not bad. I am with the chicken teriyaki. That's one of my favorite uh, mountain house meals. And someone has a, like a peak meal or something for me to try uh, tomorrow. But um, probably for lunch or maybe breakfast. I'm not sure what they got. But this is my get up. Um, again, I got the war bonnet hammock, UGQ quilts today with the Kelty 12. Pete uh, is in my good stuff. He has my uh, UGQ Winter Dream 13 over there. Um, I might have to. I also realized I'm sitting in our only camp chair because normally he just crawls into his hammock and disappears on because he just likes to veg out. But he's here hanging out with me and I don't have a chair for him. I need to get another chair. We put on at 11.30 and got to camp right around uh, 3.30, I think, or 3, right around 3. Um, didn't really stop much for lunch or anything. So we got to do 18 tomorrow to get down to the truck. So... That would be nine hours of paddling at that pace. We're gonna have to pick the pace up a bit. We have a full day to paddle it, but it's a big group and then there's a couple of slow boats. In eight miles, we'll be down there at where we camped last night at the New River State Park. And if uh, if we have some people that are uh, not feeling it, we can drop them at the takeout there and then come back for them as soon as we make it down to the bottom. And they can just hang out at the park there at the picnic tables or something um, till we get finished up. So we got that going for us and uh, yeah everything's good nice camp most of the day was perfect weather it's kind of socked in a little bit now but it feels like it's breaking off and uh but it's okay because any rain we get today is just faster miles tomorrow so everyone's chirping over there everyone's in a good spirit most people are eating dinner and we're just being little hermits over there i guess what i'm gonna do now is let pete have my camp chair and i'm gonna go sit with those folks so what Pete doesn't know is that my butt's not completely dry, therefore neither is my camp chair. But if he wants it, he must pay the price. What but in your future I see? <laughs> <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,
<laughs> There's dissension in the rakes, folk. Um, Alan may or may not have got the greenest wood within five miles. Well, Alan didn't notice anyone else eating wood. <laughs> Alan has not eaten dinner, I don't think. Does he, does he need a Snickers, Bonnie? Bonnie ain't saying nothing. <laughs> That's your sign, folks. So this tree has fallen down into the camp over there. And I think it was just low-hanging fruit for a camp saw. <laughs> Not a mosquito. Hey, we learned this on Survival Tips with Greg. See if we can find a radial tire. <laughs> Burns like that. Oh, you got to get this on video now. Make money. I would not say that on the video. The fire's going well because I put dry wood on it and took Alan's off. <laughs> <laughs> see the things you want to see on the video. <laughs> Here's what's gonna be on the video. Y'all ready for this? That's a good fire. It was going down. We thought we thought we had lost it, but uh, someone had picked some good wood and saved it. So back in business. Woo! I can feel it from here. All right, folks, it's just before seven o'clock. People are starting to get up, get moving a little bit. And I knew, I just knew deep down it would be the Kamek campers that slept in, in the tent campers that got up first. <laughs> tent, tent campers always get up first. It's because they're not asleep. They're rolling around with nothing else to do. So first light, they get up, start banging around and wake us hammock campers up out of our deep slumber. So man, I, just it. I owe it to you. Yeah, we may have all slept in without you guys. <laughs> Splendid morning, folks. I'm down here with Greg. He's just getting his boat ready. Everyone's packed up. It's uh, it's about five till seven. I'm sorry, five till eight, which is what we wanted. And uh, get an early start on the day. Got 16.6 .6 miles. Uh, checked on my uh, map software last night. 16.6 .6 exactly to the takeout. We did just about seven yesterday. So roughly two of what we did yesterday and some change. We were on the water three and a half hours yesterday, so uh, maybe eight hours at the same pace, but we were really going slow. So I'm thinking if we do well, we'll probably be at the takeout around three, so. There's the, the camp, what's left over of it. Everybody kind of walking around doing their thing. About packed up, looking good. About time to hit the water. All right, folks, that's the whole camp. What time is it exactly? 11 after eight. Not bad, 11 after eight. Adam was the last man, except Adam went back for Shannon's paddle. That's... So I guess that makes Shannon the last man to have gear in camp. So, we'll so Shannon gets the prize of buying everyone's lunch. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go one, one time through camp, make sure there's nothing hanging in trees, laying on the ground uh, while these guys launch and then we're off to the races. So we tried to leave it a little better than we found it. Went and picked up a little trash. Uh, just tied the place up a bit, but it looks great in here. I don't see any gear hanging around or any trash laying around. Everyone did a wonderful job, looks like, of picking up after themselves. I just like to do one last sweep through here. You never know what you might find. Fire's out. No trash in the fire pit. Perfect. All right, I'll see you on a minute. Oh, look what I found though. Someone's gonna be wanting their foot for their chair. I did find one extra piece of trash. We'll get to the bottom of this. 
So we uh, are on the water. I hit the water at about 8.15. Uh, not too bad for a group of 18, 19. Just a few minutes late, that's pretty early. So now we have 16.6 uh, .6 miles officially. And uh, I, think we're, I think we're looking good. So uh, the last man award was won by Shannon. He wasn't the last man. I was ready. But he left his paddle against a tree. So Adam brought it out. So the last piece of gear in camp to be brought out was Shannon's. So, man, so close. But there's another award. It's the whoever left the ball from their camp chair that I found when I did my police call. Um, that's going to get an award. Uh, Probably because I'm a tent camp. Someone from that kind of middle of the group. Probably Greg. I'm kind of thinking it may be Greg. So uh, we'll see who owns the ball to the camp chair. No one's going to claim it. That's the way this goes. They're going to buy a set of four off Amazon when they get home. But they're not going to claim this. And uh, good stuff. So yeah, moving down the river. We got a current. Looks like of about two and a half miles an hour. Lead the way, Steve-O. You gotta maneuver this way. You go left if you want the safe route. Yeah. <laughs> it wants to suck you left somehow. Yeah. Cut it out. Like butter. Like butter. Perfect. Who are you talking to? <laughs> oh, that's money. Well, them Alabama boys can paddle. Yeah, go hard, go hard. You got it, you got it. Yeah. Very nice.
folks, we are coming up on the low bridge. And it's a dicey proposition. Eddie left if you have to uh, portage it and then you go over it left. So there's some guys thinking about it right now. They're not waiting for me. You better lean back, Steve. Uh, yeah. You ain't low enough. Limbo. Oh, the life jacket's gonna yeah. catch. Oh, you made it. The, this side's higher. If you get past the first one, everything's good. My, my seat back's too high to lean back. Oh, is it? Yeah. I knew I couldn't go back. Ooh. Go slow, try to lean forward. They get progressively taller as you go. You got it, Bonnie. Mm. <laughs> yeah! Both hands on the bridge. <laughs> oh, man. I got the skirt off just in case. Nice. <laughs> It'll come off. If you get over here, cut this boat. Oh, Kelly making it look easy. I knew she was a limbo champ. <laughs> Hey, look, you might be able to go sideways. There you yeah, go. Yeah, just hold on. You got it. Now Once you come through, you want to head towards Pete because there's rocks in front of me. Okay. Yeah, you're getting it. Very nice. <laughs> Woo! <-wee. laughs> Doggone it. I, I thought for sure we'd have a bell. I mean, good job, everyone. <laughs> Fat man screams. Bonnie crushing it. How you feeling? I'm good. I set my hammock up, broke it down. Oh yeah. What good? Oh, she runs Pete into the tree. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. <laughs> I was like, there's a stick there. Ah! <laughs> Coming into New River State Park, which is right about the halfway mark for the day, and uh, I think we're gonna get out and stretch our legs and eat a little lunch. Um, perfect weather again. Not too hot. Not too cold. It's not raining. Bits of sunshine fog on the mountains no one's swimming um that's always subject to change <laughs> just like the weather <laughs> at least we aren't one of those places to have school on saturday vip parking <laughs> i'm in the vip lot here at the uh 221 new river state park Downriver landing. Time for lunch. Woo, we've done about nine miles in just over two hours, so good pace. 
uh, right around four miles an hour, which that's perfect. So we've got about, uh, about seven miles left after lunch. So should be getting there around one. So we're rocking it out, maybe one or two. We'll see what happens. Lunch was good. I'm actually pretty full. Had a bunch of summer sausage, uh, beef sticks, um, granola bar, applesauce. Most of the crew is uh, finished doing what they're gonna do. Chris. <laughs> Chris has been jammed in that tiny little yes, white water boat for way too long on mostly flattish water, not too many rapids. And so he is going to uh, pull out here and and Dan's gonna come pick him back up, but uh, Valiant Ever, it's about yeah. a seven and a half foot white water boat, maybe pushing eight feet, very short. But he has kept pace, he has not been, he's in fact been in front of the pack almost the whole time. But uh, the writing's on the wall. Like, yeah, it is, it's, it's he's had enough. I'm worked out. Yeah, he's worked out, he's been keeping that thing straight and keeping up with us Getting in the touring boat. So, yep. Yeah. Good but stuff, it, man. Yeah, it, I, if I would've brought my other boat, you know, it'd have been different, but I wanted to see time with this one, so, yeah. you know. but. You gotta make those calls sometimes. I oh yeah. Just, I know that I'm focusing more on what's going on down there than what I am going on yeah. out in the water. So right gotta on. make that call sometimes. Yeah. Yep. So we'll miss him on the water. I'll probably see him again at the end. Oh yeah. Um, Dan's gonna continue down and then pick him back up on the way back through. So uh, I think probably in about five minutes we'll be ready to go finish up the next seven miles down to Kings Creek. Everyone's looking good, feeling good. Everyone's got food on their belly. They're happy. You enjoying yourself, Dean? Sure am. How's the rudder contraption? It's working. I'll show you his rudder in a little bit, but his rudder pinion came out. So he's created a new one with a kind of a one of these cheapy aluminum carabiners. And it's working. It's working. He's got he's gotten nine miles down the river today on it, so it's just it needs to get him to the truck and then he can go home and actually fix it right. So that's yep. what you gotta do on trips. You gotta be ready to to improvise. Right. Steve O is looking for a Yukon, I believe. Oh yeah, the, the XP9 worked, but not like a Prion. Yep. <laughs> definitely need to upgrade. There are rivers for the XP9. This one, this is a Prion river for sure. Oh, definitely. I just sold stubborn to Josh. So Josh down there in Alabama, you're lucky, because if <laughs> if I had waited one more week to put it for sale, Steve O would be buying it from here in town. So, to, you want, what do you want to tell Josh about? about the boat that should have been yours. I do hope you enjoy that, sir, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch is over, loading up. Stand by, Kelly, maybe. May oh, she made it. I mean, good job, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> the carnage cam is always on at launches and exits. It's always a precarious moment in a paddler's journey. They may smile, they may pretend they're not nervous but all of them are hoping not to be that next one. Oh, a submarine just a bit. That's all right. It's pretty smooth. That works. You wanna try it? No. That won't bad enough. <laughs> oh, we were so close. He's got a keel. You made it look so good. I was hoping he'd go for it. I think you'd make it. Oh yeah. Yeah, you'd be great. It's pretty slow. <laughs> you could do it, Kerry. Yeah. I, I, no. You gonna do it? Right. Live big, live big, I'll Carrie. Come do. on, yeah! Now we're talking. No skirt. I'll, I'll help push you. What's, what's gonna happen? Oh, I'll, I'll be... Now we just got him to be the duck. We got to get him. Hey, hey guys, get your cameras ready. <laughs> this is not the boat for this, though. No, sure. but it, but you're the man for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan. On the seal launch <laughs> in the dagger axis. Lean forward. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a champ. <laughs> Are you doing this without a skirt? This is a okay. It's without a skirt. Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. There's only a couple gallons in there. Wet shorts. Wet shorts. Yes. <laughs> skeg is down. I mean, it might be up down now, but it was. Too much fun, y'all. All right, let's get in this boat and move down river. Yeah.
see Chris? I love like a, a cold weather rain day paddle. There's something like warm and cozy about being in the boat and moving. Yeah. Ah, uh, shoot, uh, blonde lady, re something. No, it was with a knife. <laughs> I, I should have known. I should have known. Got her! There. Can't park there. I won! All right, that's it, folks. 24.5 miles in the books. I won the race. It was tough. do to thank all the competitors, but... Uh, you were the only one that knew, that knew you were racing. Pete was my teammate. He was running interference for you. We were at each other hard. <laughs> Woo He's fast. All right, folks. The end of a trip. You always hate to see it most of the time sometimes you're happy to see it but this time uh we all wish it could be a little longer pulling up out of the river nothing left to do now but get some clean clothes on load the trucks and everybody start heading home fabulous fabulous weekend look at them everyone everyone's happy everyone's ready to go home and get away from the rest of them you know <laughs> A little bit of Kevin goes a long way. We'll say it like that. <laughs> so we got here at 145. Um, pretty good time. That was, uh, I think it's like right at 17 something miles. 
uh, on the river today. So 17 miles in five hours. five hours, including a lunch. That's River King Pace. So we're down here at the takeout and look who's here. <laughs> he made it because of Jared. Appreciate it, man. We met actually like a couple summers ago in Saxpaha and uh, he was looking for some stickers riding around out here in Western North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> Found Chris and it's like there somehow. But I uh, know we appreciate you giving a ride. That was awesome. Sure thing. He just Happy happened to hit the camp. So that's all. That's amazing. Yeah, I circled around. I saw the hat. I said, you look like you might need a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. We appreciate it, man. Oh, yeah. He's got the fix. It made it. It did. That's what I'm talking about. Get it done. Yeah. If you're coming on these trips, things are going to break from time to time. Be prepared to fix it. You might have to MacGyver something in there till you get home and fix it right, but just got to get it moving. Keep it moving. So it's 3 o'clock. Took about an hour to get all 18, 19 people off the river loaded up. Uh, packed away and ready to go home. Not too bad. The trip has gone about as smooth as I could have ever hoped. So super excited about that. Now it's time to get in the truck, go find a burger, and uh, start thinking about the next one. Coming in here to the Bluffs restaurant on the Blue Ridge Parkway. <laughs> kind of a neat way to end a trip. Never eaten here before. Can I for this later? Why? It's raining. Yeah. Sign is open. We're probably hitting it at a good time where there's not a lot of other folks in here. And uh, it looks warm and dry. And it looks kind of neat. I've never eaten here before. This restaurant looks fantastic. And yeah, we're catching it at a good time. So uh, the food looks amazing. He's got the cheddar burger club sandwich. What'd you get? Burger. Horrible it burger. sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> is it the world's best burger? It is the world's best burger. That's what I'm talking about. Bonnie, how is it? It's good. Bonnie's wearing her burger. <laughs> this is going to be embarrassing for you later. <laughs> There's a lot on there. <laughs> she really enjoys the burger. <laughs> I'm waiting to do a close-up. Dan's never been filmed eating a hamburger, probably. No, yeah, this is going to be really interesting. <laughs> I'll save some for later. <laughs> Dan just turned his I'm, burger I'm still, upside look, down. I'm, fix, I'm doing the fixings here. Who puts the cheese upside down? I, I got to just get the mayonnaise on it. Do you want any burger with your mayonnaise? Yeah. Maybe a little. <laughs> Look, this is how we do it in Alabama. Mm -hmm. all, right. all right, show us what it's all about. Why well, ain't put oh these on the top? Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. You might need another bottle. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a mess, I can just tell you. All right, you ready? Good, oh, we're ready. All right, here we go. All right, Dan. Dan is a connoisseur of fine burgers. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. How is it? Five stars? <laughs> Looks like a winner. <laughs> Looks like a winner. All right, pepper jack burger. Mm. Mm. <laughs> They're pretty good, aren't they? That's good. And the bun has a crispiness to it. Mm -hmm. That's really good. There's nothing worse than a good burger with a soggy bun. This is amazing. Your cook is an artist. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, folks. I'm here with Cheryl, the world's best waitress. Yes. She'll come and take care of you. She knocked it out of the park. And now Chris is knocking down one of the milkshakes here. <laughs> Look at him go. You think he's drinking it fast? No, Bonnie is halfway done. That's what I'm talking about. Is it good? Oh yeah. I don't think I could fit it in there, but fabulous trip. Thanks for coming, Dan. Hey, loved it. That's how you end it right there, folks. Burgers on the Blue Ridge Parkway. See you next time. And that's how we ended our journey down the South Fork of the New. It was a fantastic weekend with friends new and old. Tons of laughter, lots of stories, and even a swimmer bell. I wanted to give a big shout out and a personal thanks to all the members that support the channel. We wish you could have all been here. We'll do this again soon. And in the meantime, we'll see you on the river.